Welcome back, everybody. We're talking now about LED lighting and how it can instantly improve the look of your home. Joining us now, Todd, director of the vice president of the Connecticut Lighting Center. Todd, thanks so much. You? Nice to see you. Good, 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 good. So today we're talking LED lighting and you were just telling me a little bit about them. So let's start there. Yeah, you know, um, we hear all the time when customers come in, they say, you know, I hate the look of LED light bulbs. Mm -hmm. And I actually brought nine tens out of 10. If you look at the counter over here, that that's typically what people are talking about. They're the this light bulbs. One that just don't look like your conventional light bulbs. Mm -hmm. Well, now LED bulbs have come such a long way. Mm -hmm. This is LED. Looks, looks normal. Looks just like a regular light bulb. Exactly, exactly. So maybe for somebody at home that isn't totally, um, doesn't really know about LED bulbs, what's the biggest difference between the two? Well, I think the biggest difference is as a category is people have to understand LED is just a category just like any other product that you're gonna buy. Okay. You know, no, no car is the same as another car. Cars are a category. Absolutely. LED is just a category. Okay. So it's not, LED is available in many different varieties, available in fixtures and light bulbs in a, a vast majority of products. A lot of different things. Okay, so, great. And I'm guessing that these are some of the options right here. Absolutely, yeah, these are, <laughs> these are options. So basically what I, what I did was today, you know, for outdoor lights, like how mm -hmm. many people have candelabra bulbs in their outdoor lights? Oh yeah, absolutely. I mean, four watts, equivalent to 60. Wow. Um, dimmable. Wow. But again, the biggest thing with LED it's a, it's a new emerging technology. So mm -hmm. the hardest thing for consumers today is what the, we find that consumers come into us and they say, what does it mean? You know, I'm coming to buy light bulbs. It's very frustrating. You yeah. know, I go to look for a bulb and it says four watt LED equivalent to, they're like, well, what, what am I supposed to buy? Exactly, what are you supposed to look <laughs> so, for? Too many, too many so, options. Exactly, there's a lot of options, but coming to a place like Connecticut Lighting, where we can direct you for the right bulb, for the right application, mm -hmm. that's really where it makes the biggest difference. You know, we understand the difference of all this stuff. Oh, absolutely, um, I'm sure. And again, just, just understanding that wattage, mm -hmm. if this is a 60 watt light bulb, the wattage means nothing to the brightness. Oh, really? It, yes, wattage okay. is just consumption. Lu I learn something new every day. Yes. Look at that. So okay. lumens and the actual um, lumen output of each bulb is what really dr drives how much light you get or foot candles you get. Okay, and speaking of so, brightness, I'm sure that there are different light bulbs that people would want in their, you know, over their bathroom mirrors or their living rooms in their kitchens. And, those are and that's where we really provide the value of, mm -hmm. of going through all that. Yes, it may look pretty, but if it's not going to give you good light, then what does it really matter? Exactly. And I can't tell you how many times you go to a restaurant and they put this antique vintage light bulb over the table and you can't see you your can't food. You can't see the menu. Yes. You gotta be able to read the menu. So, I agree. So, so again, there, there's, and, and that, you can do that in a restaurant, but you have to understand that mm -hmm. if you're gonna do that, how am I gonna also light the table with another light source? Because this is decorative light source and mm -hmm. not a functional light source. And I like to use the restaurant example because again, we're talking about home, but you guys service so many different we people. Do. I mean, there's lights everywhere you go. Th there are, and, and again, um, you know, when these bulbs came out, the, but a few years ago, they were mm -hmm. very popular and incandescent. They put off a ton of heat and give no light. Well, mm -hmm. now with LED, they're no heat and very low wattage. It's very nice and you don't have to worry about changing them all the time. Perfect, and cost so. difference? Cost difference on, on this bulb, you're probably looking at uh, a five to $10 difference in okay. a LED versus incandescent. All so right. incandescent, this is almost a $10 bulb. In LED, it's probably a $15 bulb. Not bad. So it's not not, not a bad terrible at all. difference, not Perfect. at all. Perfect. All right. Todd Director, thank you very much. Appreciate it.